What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Sunday night. I'm doing real good myself. Um, shout out to the Sister Queen. I know who I am for hipping me to this story. Uh, it's about this beast right here. He's done a very ghastly thing, okay? It says here, man's skin and dismembered wife before flushing her body parts down toilet. The man allegedly killed his partner and flayed her body before attempting to destroy the evidence and then calling his ex-wife to tell her what he had done. What did he call his ex-wife for? Wow, let's get into this story. And I guess it's the animal that did this ghastly act. You know, they should just go ahead and put his ass straight to death. March, march straight to death. Okay, you got DNA, you know, all over him of the victim. Blood, you know, and every damn thing. I'm telling you, believe it or not, a lot of people are not paying attention to what's going on in the news these days, okay? But I'm here to tell you, there are what is considered evil spirits floating around, and they're getting inside of people, and they're basically people who have a threshold to receive the evil in the first place. You understand? Because you got to be a very wicked person in nature to actually have an evil entity inhabit your body. You see, for you to act out these type of deals right here. Okay. It says here, police were alerted after the 56-year-old uh, called his ex-wife and allegedly confessed to killing his current partner. All right. She was. That's awful. The grisly murder of a woman by her partner in Mexico City is just the latest in a horrifying chain of killings in Mexico over the past few years, Ingrid Escamilla, I guess a Escamilla, Escamilla, okay, 25, was allegedly killed by her partner, who is said to have skinned and mutilated her body so that he could flush the evidence down a drain. Local media has shown pictures of the man, well, yeah, has shown pictures of the man believed to be the killer sitting in the back of the, a police car as he answers questions about the murder. That's a shame. This is crazy, man. Stripped to the waist and covered in blood, the 46-year-old man named in reports as Eric Francisco said he was sorry about killing his wife and that he committed the crime in a fit of jealousy. Hmm. Wow, and this is the young lady that he did this ghastly thing to, you know, to. You know, this is awful. Wow, what a waste of a woman, you know? What do you do with people like this? I know what the Bible says to do with people like this. You're supposed to put these people down, okay? He's admitted to doing this evil act to this person right here. He should be put down himself in the same manner that he does that he done to this woman, you know, but that's just my take on it, you know, that would be fair, and uh, yeah, this is uh, Ingrid Escamilla was murdered, partially dismembered, before pieces of her body were thrown into a sewer, gosh, she must have had a lot of hate in his heart for her, let's see what did she do to deserve all that, hmm, Okay, it says here, Francisco said he had taken drugs, all right, and bizarrely rambled. He committed the evil crime because the devil had got into him. There it is. There it is. See, when he took those drugs, he opened up the threshold to his intellect where his own inner being could be taken over by an evil spirit. And he probably was fucked up in the first place. Okay, you know, I'm talking about the kind of person he was in nature. See, this is what's happening. So, you know, I'd advise a lot of people who, you know what I mean, are taking drugs, get off drugs. Because once these evil entities inhabit your body, they'll make you do what they want you to do. And then once you do it, they will flee from you. And leave you, 
you know, in the trouble that you're in, the current trouble, like this, this dumbass, you know. But to continue, police found a large kitchen knife, which is thought to have been the murder weapon next to Miss Escambler's body. It was covered in blood. Her alleged killer had reportedly telephoned his ex-wife to confess to the murder before then going on to call the police. Huh. Why are they using alleged killer when this man, you know, let's go back up here. Look at this man. Do you not see the blood all over him? Okay. Did they not find the big, large kitchen knife that they said that was next to the woman's body? And they're still, and he even admitted to his, his ex-wife that he did this, plus to the police that he took drugs and the devil got into him. And they're still saying alleged. I don't believe these people know the real meaning of that word. Okay. Wow. This is awful, man. Ooh wee. Huh. To continue, inquiries at North Boring Properties after the discovery of the body revealed that a number of people had heard a loud disturbance at the property. On Francisco Tamangano, well, yeah, Tamangano in central Mexico City. In the early hours of the morning, but none of them had thought to call the police. On social media, many Mexicans also expressed their fury that crime scene photos of Ingrid Escamla's mutilated body had been circulated online and insisting that the person responsible should be prosecuted. Hmm. Wow. You know, if I'm going to tell you this. If they throw his ass to the same people who are mad about that woman being chopped up like that and seeing her pictures, you know, online, they'll do his ass the same way he did her. And they should. They should, you know, turn him over to that to them folks. I think so. This is a photo shown of Eric Francisco sitting in the back of a squad car and making a statement to police. Yeah. They must have bust your damn head or something. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you'd be bust your head. He's a little lean back, a little bleeding, probably. So, news of the latest murder came just a day after President Andrew Manuel Lopez Abrador. Abrador. Damn, all those names, man. Dang. Has said that the statistics of the number of women murdered in Mexico over the past few years have been multiplied. No, excuse me, manipulated by the political opponents. Further south in Peru, hundreds of women took to the streets of the South American national capital, Lima, to protest against crimes being committed against women and girls in August last year. There were over 150 cases last year of women in Peru being killed Purely because of their gender. Why the hell would you just want to kill a woman for her gender? That's sick. Mm. These agendas that they're pushing is just it's, it's 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 really affecting people all over the place. You know? What a shame to this woman and my condolences to her family, you know, who had to her family and her friends, you know, who are actually suffering the loss of this woman and especially the way that she died, okay? That's terrible. But if, you know, the people of, uh, of Mexico see this video right here and um, law enforcement, you know, you know what the Bible says to do to people like this. He's an animal. When a dog gets off of the chain and go out in a community and bite somebody, what do they do? What do they do? They euthanize the dog so that he'll never bite anybody again. These are the same things that the Bible declares when human dogs break their chain, you understand what I mean, just to go want to go and kill somebody, okay? But see, the most high's laws are not being enforced as they should be, not only in this country, but in a lot of other countries as well, you know? 
What a shame. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts and views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please remember, people, to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. And this is James, and I'm out. Peace.